Okay, so we're getting into this overland camping. And a few weeks ago, we purchased this 48 quart Yomi cooler off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested. And uh, we were just wondering to ourselves, how long will this really last out in the wilderness when we're camping? So we, we, uh, we started doing the research and we started looking at different battery packs. We looked at the Jack Free. We looked at all kinds of different uh, setups. And we ended up deciding to go with a 200 amp hour setup of our own. Um, we created our own battery box portable system. Um, it's a lifetime 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery. It's got 2,600 watts. Uh, like I said, I got it on Amazon. I'll put that link in the description below too. And uh, the whole setup, I think it's 2560 is the total wattage. Uh, we built this box with a 2000 watt generator a DC to DC power uh, charger. So it charges from our truck. We built it for less than what we could purchase a uh, 1500 watt um, portable power station and some 1000 watt power station. So we are very excited and impressed with this. It's not as small, but man, it's weighs 75 pounds, 80 pounds. Uh, it is packable still. If you're gonna take it a long way, uh, you just dis disconnect it from your truck. I'll put, my video will be at the end. Just watch the video on how I built this box. I have quick disconnects. You can throw it in your wagon. You can drag it wherever you want to. Uh, when you're ready, you just put it back in your truck and plug it in. It charges it up very fast, very fast. Living life on the R5. Hello, JJ. <laughs> First, let me start by saying, none of these products paid me to say anything. <laughs> I wish they would, but they didn't. So I'm only telling you through my experience that I liked them. And uh, because I like them and they're doing good for me, I want to share it with you. And if you like them, hey, great. But anyway, we wanted to know just how long we could camp before this refrigerator would go out. So it said it was most efficient at max capacity when you filled it up with food and drink. So we decided to leave it completely empty. And for those of you that have never looked inside of one, uh, this is what it looks like. It's, it's quite spacious on the inside. It has a rack with the divider and the other side. You can lower this guy down to four degrees. Uh, we normally keep it at about 33 degrees and it holds temperature very well. It'll fluctuate within about three to four degrees throughout the day, um, but it holds great. Um, whenever you have it on refrigerator mode, you don't have to worry about things freezing. And when you put it on freezer, it does a good job freezing. So we set this guy out. We put it in the bed of the pickup. I do have a cover on my truck, so it wasn't in direct sunlight, but it was in heat. We do live in Texas, and it was averaging about 95 to 100 degrees each day. And we just turned this sucker on and disconnected it from our truck so we wouldn't charge this battery any at all. We started at 100%, and we fired on that, that uh, inverter, plugged this guy in, and we let it go. And you'll see, like, here's day one, right here. Cooling itself back down to 33. It's at 37 right now, and uh, we do have power going uh, out of the battery to cool that off. So we're at 86% right now. Hey, I was very impressed with day one. 24 hours in, and we still had that much battery power. So uh, we rolled on, and same scenario. I left the cover down, left it in the bed of the truck. Day two, it's dark. It's 48 hours and a half or so. Uh, the fridge running. We're at 49%. Let me show you on the screen. Fridge is still sitting at 33 degrees. It is running great in the truck, y'all. And I've had everything unplugged, so no charger charging back into there. But let me show you what we got going on in the truck. All right, there's the screen. We're at 49% left of the battery. 13.1 uh, volts remaining. And uh, here's the fridge, 33 degrees. So after day two, I started getting really encouraged. One, I started thinking, man, do I have the settings set up on this thing right? Because it looks like we can go a long time. And I, I call one of my buddies, Tyler, and I say, hey, what's your guess on this thing? And he's like, man, I think you can get 95 to 100 hours easy. No. All right, guys. No. Here we go. JJ's getting herself ready for camera. But no, what I wanted to tell y'all while we're doing that is that we are at 72 hours right now on the clock. We're in the middle. Yeah. 72 hours. We're at 26% remaining. And uh, we're in the middle of bailing right now. 
We got up early this morning and had to rake. And uh, <laughs> he had to rake. Yeah. I just filmed. We had to rake the hay, and now now it's getting bailed right now. We don't have a baler, and so uh, our neighbor is out there bailing right now, and it looks like it's going to be a good crop, huh? I think we had to stop it at six percent left on the uh, on the battery. I had to stop. Here's an update on the battery. I'm gonna have to call it quits. We are at 6% of the battery. I gotta use my truck and I need the battery pack to charge up. So I'm gonna have to use some tools later on today in the truck. So let me show you what we have left. We are at 6% battery life. I still got the fridge plugged in. We are rocking at 32 degrees, but if you can see, I am currently working on a project right now. So I have the fridge stowed down here and I've got a hot mess of tools and everything else here on the truck. But six percent i don't know if we can make a hundred on that that yomi refrigerator but it is kicking butt uh, we've done some calculations on itself and we think that the the battery monitor uh, is a little off we probably still had 11 percent based on the voltage that was remaining in the in the battery but for all intents and purposes i was doing this test on the battery monitor itself and it said we had six percent left and i was at 96 hours uh, 96 hours is a really long time to run, I think, anything. So I'm about to take this guy inside, uh, not this, but that battery pack inside, plug it into my house refrigerator. The house refrigerator has an ice maker. Uh, we do have a water dispenser, has a freezer. And I'm going to see how many hours I can get off of that thing because ultimately I built this thing for camping, but also for when we have power outages here at the house. Uh, we do have those off and, and everything runs uh, off of our electricity with our water well. When we lose power, we lose everything, water, everything. So uh, I'm hoping this guy will do a good job. Uh, we do have some bigger generators, but if I can haul this guy inside and it powers some of my home uh, equipment, I'm pretty impressed. You know, I was kind of skeptical about this Yomi refrigerator. It's kind of skeptical about any of them. I'm an old fashioned guy and I think that the, uh, the Yeti cooler, <laughs> they're not a sponsor, but the Yeti cooler uh, with the sacrificial bag of ice, just holds ice forever. So why would I want to change to this? But ever since I've changed to this thing, man, it's my go-to. Uh, I enjoy having a uh, constant temperature. We take it for everything, uh, whether it's getting groceries. We're 40 miles away from the, the nearest grocery store. And so uh, that's pretty simple for us to throw this in the truck, plug it in. And I have a power outlet inside my truck that I wired up to this uh, battery here in the back. So it doesn't affect my starter. I can leave it running all the time. I mean, well, heck, the test we just did for 96 hours if I wanted to. Uh, but if you're on the fence about one of these, I encourage you to look at the Yomi. Um, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty spacious. Uh, we have packed uh, on one of our camping trips. We had enough food for two people for four days. And then we also had packed uh, for four people for a day and a half. So. Uh, we had quite a bit of food in here. It was maxed out. I did have to take another little cooler for our, our soda cans and water bottles, things like that. Uh, but all the food fit perfectly in here and stayed cold and fresh. So anyway, man, I, I hope this helps you if you're on the fence of making up your mind on, on which way to go. And like I say, it's this is just my opinion on it. There's plenty of opinions out there, so look into it. Some other people have done some reviews on this thing too. And if you're interested in any of this, I'll have uh, links in the description below and check out the other videos right here I'm gonna put the the build for this this box and I'll put a product review of us camping right here. Thanks guys